Hello, Doc Sketchy here again with the frequency shifter, my brand new frequency shifter that I just finished building today. I'm just going to show you the build today and then show you one little trick. Um, this is this is the message for today. <laughs> See, here's the build. Pretty proud of this build. Here's the panel. You can see that now we've got uh, we've got sine and cosine. We've got the, the waveforms coming out here, along with all the, the sum difference and mixed outputs and all the inputs. And uh, but here's the real deal about this build. Check it out. It's a stack a stack of PCBs, and those PCBs are all connected into these two connector PCBs with. Uh, with plugs, with sockets, and these can these can be removed. You see, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take them off now because I'll drop the whole thing on the floor. But the only wiring in this whole unit are these two little uh, connectors here and here, which wire the jacks to the to the connector boards. Now um, I'm waiting for some jacks to come from Small Bear that are uh, PCB mount jacks, and when those come. I will make a, a jack PCB and the wiring will be even cleaner. Okay, so that's my new build. This one works perfectly. I think maybe even a slightly tiniest bit better than the last one. And um, I'm selling these for 450 bucks. So on uh, Muff Wiggler, contact me. I'm Dr. Sketch and Etch on Muff Wiggler and uh, I'll set you up with one. Just like this. All right, cheers. Hello, Doc Sketchy here again with my new frequency shifter. And I want to show you a little, to little trick you can do with it. If you put a sine wave into the input and uh, play around with the, uh, with the other waves, this is the square wave output. And you can get some really radical Lissajou figures. Check that out. I'm just playing with the fine frequency to get it get it to a nice slow circulation oh yeah now what happens if we do that with zigzag ooh check that out that's what i call that's what i call disraeli gears right there i'm uh, opening the doors of perception right now if you know what i mean what happens if i do that with a sine wave eh, it's not that interesting or a triangle wave. Eh. But for some reason, square wave gives you a big old circle, which is really cool. And zigzag wave gives you this uh, funky thing, which I love. Yeah. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. Now we're cooking. Whoa, that's a little too big now. That should be my new logo. The logo for world domination. All right. 